for decades, Mali's sewer and drainage systems have provided plumbers and installers with a way to protect water quality and ensure effective sanitation in homes and buildings across sub-Saharan Africa. Durability, ease and safety of installation, as well as environmental soundness and cost-effectiveness are what make Mali's certified range of UPVC systems the preferred choice and offer a viable alternative to traditional materials. Measure the length of pipe and cut it square using a fine tooth saw and a fabricated mitre box. Make sure all pipe cut ends are chamfered and the resulting swarf removed. Before joining fittings, plan out where all pipes and fittings will go. The lip seal jointing system allows high integrity joints to be made quickly and easily. First, determine the insertion depth and mark it with a permanent marker. Ensure that the rubber seal ring is correctly positioned in the socket recess of the fitting or the pipe socket. Apply a small amount of Mali lubricant to the chamfered spigot end and to the rubber seal ring to ease fitting. Line the pipe or the spigot end up with the socket and push firmly until the insertion depth mark is level with the face of the socket. Coat the outside of the pipe end up to the insertion depth, as well as the inside of the fittings with solvent weld and join together immediately by pushing the pipe firmly into the fitting up to the insertion depth. Remove any surplus solvent weld immediately with a clean, dry cloth. Cut the pipe as previously mentioned, chamfering the ends and removing all swarf and dirt. Like with the underground fittings, measure and mark the insertion depth. Ensure that the B-ring seal is correctly positioned in the socket recess of the fitting. Apply a small amount of Mali lubricant to the chamfered pipe end and the seal. And push the pipe or spigot end firmly through the B-ring seal, adjusting until the insertion depth has been reached. Place the saddle over the pipe so that the flow direction markings on the fitting correspond to the actual direction of flow on the main line. Align the saddle into the correct position and mark the saddle flange outline and the required hole in the main line. Remove the saddle and drill the hole in the main line as marked using a 50mm hole saw. Refit the saddle and align properly, making sure that the flange lip fits inside the drilled hole. Ream is required using a half round or a round file, taking care to leave enough material on the main pipeline to secure a solvent weld joint against the flanged area of the saddle. Apply a uniform coat of Mali solvent cement to the saddle flange and to the area on the main pipeline surrounding the drilled hole as marked. Secure the saddle strap in the original position as marked using the supplied M5 screw. <laughs> 